Hey guys! So is it just me or has this year gone ridiculously quickly? It feels like it's gone by in a flash and I actually can't believe it's nearly September and time for my August favourites. I swear this year is going past in light speed. But um, there are a few products I've been loving this month and as always I'm going to tell you about them because I like telling you about products that I like. Uh, makeup wise this month I found a new bronzer which I've fallen in love with and I am so excited about it because I haven't found a bronzer that I have... There's a bit of fluff flying in front of my face, get out of the way. Um, I haven't found a bronzer that I've really fallen in love with for a very long time because I found NARS Laguna which is like the most fabled of all bronzers in the world and I fell in love with it and I didn't really look at anything else since then but I found a new one this is the Liz Earl I don't even know what it's called I think it's just their bronzer um, it says 130 on the back but I'm not even sure if they do more than one shade it looks like this the packaging is a gorgeous midnight blue um, with a little bit of shimmer in it it's just a really beautiful texture um, it's I think it's completely matte if it isn't completely matte it might have a tiny 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 bit of shimmer in it but not really at all it's a perfect color it's not muddy it's not orange um, it is just wonderful and it applies really beautifully it blends nicely I can't really say many more good things about it it lasts all day I love this bronzer it's fantastic and the packaging is really lovely I've actually only tried a couple of other bits from the Liz Earl makeup line I love her um, face wash her cleanse and polish face wash but I actually would say I actively disliked slash hated um, the I think it's called the sheer skin tint her tinted moisturizer I really didn't like it I thought it was really greasy some of my friends absolutely love it um, but it really wasn't for me um, so I was excited to find something that I really, really love from this collection. I've tried a couple of the blushes too, which are also really nice. Very, very pigmented though, so they can be a little tricky to work with. Um, especially the powder one that I have is like, whoa, like you have to literally tap your brush in a tiny amount, which some people love. I kind of prefer somewhere in the middle because um, it's kind of easy to mess up if they're a bit like that. But anyway, I love the bronzer. I love it. Um, another thing that I've been absolutely in love with this month is the L'Oreal Glam Shine Miss Candy lip glosses. Now this isn't actually the one that I wanted to feature. I have one called um, Pink Treat, I think it's called. I featured it on my blog. If you guys want to go and see um, a close-up picture of it, I will link it in the info bar below. This is called, I don't even know what the name of this one is. Um, let me find out. Um, Tart Lollipop, which is a horrendous name. But the lip gloss is really nice. They're basically um, those kind of double or triple layered swirly lip glosses that have two colours in but they come out as one colour. Um, I love how these taste, they are totally non-sticky which is amazing and they actually last for a long time because I find a lot of non-sticky lip glosses um, like disappear after a few minutes because they're not sticky, if that even makes sense. They don't stick to your lips. Um, but yeah, I love this, they've got rose gold little packaging feature there and um, they are just lovely lip glosses and they're only I think they're like six pounds. Um, like I said before, the other one that I absolutely love, I can't find it. I've had it in my handbag for the whole of this month and I've used it pretty much every day and I've misplaced it somewhere and I came to film this video and I couldn't find it for the life of me. But it is called Pink Treat so I would definitely recommend checking that one out too because it's fabulous and I'm definitely going to be buying some more of these lip glosses because they're lovely. The other lip product that I'm loving this month is from Dior and it's very fancy pants. It's one of their Rouge Dior Nude Lipsticks. I just realised I've had a different Dior product in my monthly favourites for the last three months, I think. I'm really loving them at the moment. Um, it's called Swan. It's a kind of very pretty baby pink girly colour. But the one thing that I love about this lipstick is the fact that it's very, very creamy and moisturising. Like, you almost don't need like a lip balm or anything or a lip gloss. It just feels really comfortable on your lips. I love the colour and I've actually had quite a lot of questions about um, when I've been wearing this in vlogs recently, people asking what I'm wearing. Most of the time this month it has been this combined with the L'Oreal um, lip gloss in Pink Treat pink treat yeah <laughs> um yeah so this is one i love it the packaging is lovely it's ridiculously expensive i think it's 25 pounds but it's a gorgeous gorgeous high-end lipstick love it um as for eyes there are two there's like a combination of eye products that i've been using all the time this month um four mac eyeshadows which i've put into a quad which I haven't left my makeup bag i've been wearing them pretty much every day i they are kind of my standard eyeshadows but the way I've been wearing them I've just fallen in love with. Um, Orb which is a matte kind of skin tone colour, I've just hit pan on this actually, um, 
I've been using kind of as a base on the inner corner of my eye and then all over and also as a brow highlight as well. And then I've been using Naked Lunch on my lid and then um, Sable in the crease just really nicely kind of blended into the two other colours because they go really nicely. And then I've just been putting a little bit of espresso along my lash line. And then along with those, this is a perfect like neutral eye, along with those I've been using this new um, Clarins 3 dot liner. Now I don't normally like liquid eyeliner and this is kind of a weird liquid eyeliner. Um, it has three points which you just dab on between your eyelashes. I hope this makes sense. You guys can see the end of it now. Um, and you just really just go in right at the base of the lashes and just touch it and you get what looks from up close it looks quite messy because you get like a series of little dots but once you put mascara on it just really makes your lash line look so thick and it really makes your eyelashes look so much thicker and I absolutely love it um, it's Clarins so it's expensive at £20 but I can't wait for um, a high street alternative of this to come out because I think it will be fabulous Woof has entered the room are you going to go on the bed Woof? come on, come say hi She's just standing there. Just standing there. Yeah, I really hope that they come out with a kind of drugstore alternative. I'm pretty sure they don't have one. I may be wrong in thinking that they don't have one. If they do, let me know. Um, but that is fabulous. And that is it for makeup. One nail polish that I'm wearing at the moment and I've been wearing for the last probably 10 days straight is Pinch Punch from Topshop. This is from their um, limited edition collaboration with Louise Gray, who, to be honest, I actually didn't know who Louise Gray was before um, Topshop did the collab with her. Is that a bad thing? I don't know. She's a fashion designer, but her stuff that she's done with Topshop looks amazing, so I'm definitely going to be checking that out. But I love this. It's a sheer kind of candy pink with um, very fine pink glitter in it, and then it has really chunky gold and silver hexagonal glitter. Um, I love this. I, my nails are actually quite chipped at the moment because they're about four or five days old, um, but there are pictures on my blog, uh, which I did recently, which you guys can go check out if you want to see more kind of close-up fingernail pictures. Um, moving on to skincare, I have been loving these Express Beauty face masks. I actually haven't tried these ones that I'm showing you now because I just bought these. Um, the reason being they're individual use face masks. You buy them in packs of two. Um, and the ones that I've tried already are the cucumber ones. Um, I've had, I got a double pack in my glossy box which I used up and then I bought another pack of the cucumber ones. Um, and I really love them so I decided to pick up some more the other day. Um, basically, Apivita is a Greek brand and they're made with um, nice ingredients if that even makes sense. They are paraben silicone propylene glycol free so they basically don't have many chemical nasties um, they've got lots of nice natural good for your skin ingredients in them and you can pick them up from the new section of Marks and Spencer um, it's only in a couple of the stores I picked these up in Manchester when I was there the other day because um, I the only one I've been into that has it before has been the Kensington one and I very, very rarely go there so I took advantage and picked up these. You can order them online though but they're just really good especially if you travel a lot because you can just um, separate them like that and you can just have like a one face mask sachet, sachet. Say if you're going away for the weekend or if you are staying away from home for a week or so which I tend to do, um, they're great to take with you and you don't have to take the whole pot. Also good because they vary between I think £3.50 and £5 to buy depending on the ingredients um, and what your skin is like, which ones you buy, um, but they're also a really great way of not spending too much money because if you buy really high-end face masks, if you buy a full pot, it can be like £40, which is a lot of money, so it's good to get really good quality face masks, but you know, less of them, so they're a little bit cheaper. Anyway, I love those, and I'm definitely going to be trying these out. I'm really excited to try these, actually. These are the eye patches, and I actually didn't realise how expensive they were until I took them to the till, and they were £5, and I kind of just bought them anyway. Um, you know when you just kind of like, oh, I've got them now, and they were my friends were waiting for me, so I didn't want to kind of faff around. Um, so I'm excited to see what these are like, because for £5 for a set of eye patches, I'm intrigued, but I'll let you guys know how that goes. I'm going to be reviewing them on my blog this week once I've tried them. Um, that's it for skincare. I've kind of just stuck. I'm funny with skincare. I tend to kind of stick with what I know and love. So that's the only new addition to my skincare kind of loves this month. I have got a new fragrance that I have totally fallen for. Um, the Viva La Juicy La Fleur perfume. Aptly named, I know. Obviously named after me. Thanks, Juicy Couture. Obviously not. Um, being called Fleur, which if you guys don't know, Fleur means flower in French. Um, there are actually quite a lot of perfumes with Fleur or La Fleur or Fleur in their name. Um, so it's nothing really too new or gimmicky for me having this one called Fleur, but 
The difference being is that I don't normally love floral fragrances um, and fleur meaning flower. Um, obviously most of fragrances called fleur tend to be very floral. This is a slightly more floral take on the original Viva La Juicy perfume. I love the original. I love this even more. To me this doesn't really smell that much more floral. The only note I think they've added into it is water lily. Um, which isn't too kind of overwhelming. I find this to be more of like an eau fresh version of the original one. It's an amazing kind of summer um, addition if you like that kind of fresh summer fragrance. Um, this came out this month but I believe it's still exclusive to Selfridges. It is coming um, like nationwide in the next month. Sometime in September it's available everywhere but I'm pretty sure at the moment you can only get it in Selfridges. It's out in the States full release so I love this. I love the bottle and everything so big big fan of um, Viva La Juicy La Fleur. I might even spray some on right now. Oh, it smells so good. It's just oh so yummy. Um, anyway, shower gel. I've almost used up the whole of this in a month which is really bad but I love this shower gel. It's from Balance Me. It's their Rose Otto body wash. And I go through real kind of love-hate stages with rose-scented stuff. Sometimes I really don't like it and I can't stand it and it's too floral. Other times I absolutely love it and I'm going through a phase at the moment where I just can't get enough of rose-scented things. I find it really relaxing. Um, I really like Balance Me because they make their products out of... This is 99% natural origin. Some of them are like 98, some of them are 100%, um, depending on which one. But pretty much all natural products in the ingredients. So I really like this. I'm never, I've never been a massive one for organic. While I think organic produce is great, usually when it's written on the label of a product it's probably like 10% of the ingredients are organic. So I'm more kind of interested in products that are like 100% natural because um, you know that you're not putting anything dodgy on your skin. As well, when I'm using body products I feel like you use so much of it like all over your body. It's such a large, like larger surface area than just using something on your face. I feel like I'm more inclined to go for natural products for that. Anyway, this is lovely. It foams up really nicely. It's very kind of luxurious, thick kind of consistency and as you can tell by the fact that it's nearly finished, I love this. Um, for hair products, I haven't really changed what I've been using since last month. I'm still loving my um, Aurib Acre Beach and my Kerastase, uh, what's it called, Crystalliste Liquids Lumiere stuff. Um, but I have been loving my Tresemme Keratin Smooth Heat Protection Shine Spray. I bought this quite a long time ago actually and I kind of forgot to use it whilst I was using up the very last dregs of my um, Schwarzkopf Guardian Angel. This is so much better, it smells yummy, it's not really too heavy in your hair, I feel like it doesn't weigh your hair down like some heat protection sprays can and it kind of, it isn't too sticky if you get what I mean um, and it also leaves your hair with a really nice shine and I find that if I curl my hair off using this it lasts longer, I don't even know why but I feel like it does and it's really cheap too, it's like £2 something so that gets a big thumbs up from me. Um, the last two products are non-beauty related, just a few extras. I know it was only my last video that I mentioned Harper's Island. Um, me and Mike watched this whole series in like three days, we loved it so much. It's amazing, I know I'm so late on the bandwagon because this was a one-off series like three years ago I think. Um, or maybe even four years ago, I think it was 2008, 2009. Um, but it's really awesome. If you haven't seen it, you can pick it up on Amazon for £10 for the whole series. And if you like murder mysteries, you will love this. Absolutely loving it and gutted that we finished it so quickly because now I still have nothing to watch again. So if you have any recommendations of TV shows, um, do let me know because I've been loving Harp's Island and we finished it. And my last favourite and last but not least is my iPad. I finally, finally got an iPad. Those of you who watch my vlog will have seen or heard or if you follow me on Twitter I was tweeting about it. I finally caved and bought an iPad. I was so undecided for such a long time about iPads. I just didn't know whether it was worth it if you have a laptop and an iPhone but I have had this for a few days now, probably five or six days now and I have been using it so much. I absolutely love it. I know it's not a whole month and I haven't been using it for a month but this has been like my major um, purchase this month and I'm loving it. So yay for iPads and let me know if you guys have any app recommendations. I know I did a whole um, vlog video on um, my iPad and what apps I'd already downloaded and asking you guys to recommend some but if you didn't see that and you have any app recommendations then please let me know. I'm also loving my um, K2 
case. This is a customised like YouTube case, it says YouTube on it if you can see there, um, which I got given in a goodie bag at a TV festival I went to um, up in Edinburgh. If you want to know more about that whole experience, it's on my vlog. Um, but it folds up like this, it's like a click on case. It folds up like this so you can stand it up, but then it also rotates so that you can stand it up that way too, which is super cool. So yeah. I have been loving my iPad this month. So that is it for my monthly favourites. I hope you guys all had an amazing August and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.